The Brain from Planet Arrows is a 1957 American black and white science fiction film, produced by Jacques R. Marquette, directed by Nathan H. Duran, that stars John Agar, Joyce Meadows, and Robert Fuller. Distributed briefly by Hauko International in late 1957, the film appeared in 1958 on a double feature with Teenage Monster. The storyline features themes of alien possession and world domination by an alien named Gore. Another alien, Volume, has been sent to Earth to capture the criminal Gore and return him to their home world. Topic. Plot An outer space terrorist from a planet named Arrows, a brain-shaped creature named Gore Dale Tate, arrives on Earth and possesses young scientist Steve March Agar. Gore proceeds to use his vast, destructive powers to bend the world to his will, threatening to wipe out the capital city of any nation that dares to defy him. Meanwhile, Volume Tate, another brain creature from Arrows, arrives and eventually inhabits the body of March's fiancé's dog. Volume goes on to explains that Gore is a wanted criminal on their world. His only physical weakness is the human body's fissure of Rolando, and Gore is only vulnerable during the brief period when he needs to exit his host to absorb oxygen. Topic. Cast John Agar as Steve March Joyce Meadows as Sally Fallon Robert Fuller as Dan Murphy Thomas Brown Henry as John Fallon Kenneth Terrell as Colonel in Conference Room Henry Travis as Colonel Frogley E. Leslie Thomas as General Brown Tim Graham as Sheriff Wiley Payne Bill Giorgio as Russian Kenna G. Kemp as military man at meeting Dale Tate as Professor, Voices of Gore and Volume uncredited. <laughs> Production The special effect for Agar's eyes was achieved by using special contact lenses lined with metal foil. These were used a decade later by actor Gary Lockwood during the second Star Trek TV series pilot episode, Where No Man Has Gone Before. Stock footage of unoccupied houses being flash incinerated in above-ground atomic bomb tests was used to demonstrate Gore's psychic powers. An alien interstellar policeman is pursuing a dangerous, space-faring criminal. Both must slip into and possess the bodies of Earth lifeforms. This plot is similar to the classic science fiction novel Needle by Hal Clement that was first published in 1949 as a multi-part serial in Astounding Science Fiction magazine. The 1987 film The Hidden also shares similar story elements without being a direct adaptation of Clement's novel. Director Nathan Duran was unhappy with the final film and changed his screen credit to the pseudonym. Nathan Hertz Topic Reception The Brain from Planet Arrows currently holds a score of 20% rotten at the film review aggregator website Rotten Tomatoes with an average rating of 3.6/10 based on 5 reviews Topic in popular culture Although its B-movie status gave it poor reviews upon its initial release, the film has since become a cult classic. It has been parodied on American television. The comedy series Malcolm in the Middle uses a segment of the brain from Planet Arrows as part of its opening credits. A clip was also used in the opening scene of the comedy film Ernest Scared Stupid that featured a collage of horror films. 
The Brain from Planet Arrows is also featured in the film The Butcher Boy 1997, which is viewed by the main character at his local movie theater. The voice clip, Your Feeling of Helplessness is Your Best Friend, Savage, from the film was used in the 1997 Jay Wineland track Sound Stage Strut as part of the Need for Speed 2 soundtrack. The same clip was used 2001 in Frank Klepacki's track Brain Freeze as part of the Command and Conquer, Yuri's Revenge soundtrack, together with another voice clip from the film in the song Drock. The credits track for the film House of the Dead 2 also used a vocal sample of the film, as did a 1991 TV Guide ad, which asked, Were you watching this when the Beverly Hills 90210 Christmas special aired, prompting multiple viewers to respond The Brain from Planet Arrows was the better choice. The electronic musician Deadmau5 used the following voice sample from the film in his track More Ghosts in Stuff from the album For Lack of a Better Name, After I'm Gone, Your Earth Will Be Free to Live Out Its Miserable Span of Existence, As One of My Satellites, and That's How It's Going to Be. This sample was also used in 1997 by DJ Buzz Fuzz in the track Jealousy is a MF, which appeared on Volume 17 of the Thunderdome series. This same sample has also been used by Swedish gothic metal band Tiamat in the track Lucy from a 1999 album Skeleton Skeletron, Norwegian gothic metal, darkwave band The Crest in the song In This Cage from their debut 2002 album Letters from Fire, Alien Vampires track You'll All Die, as well as Norwegian industrial metal band The Covenant in the track Acid Theater from a 2003 album set it also has been used by Japanese musician Toshiyuki Kakuta known by his DJ name as LED in many of his original tracks for the Konami music game, Beatmania IIDX. It has even found its way into psychedelic trance, in the track Shockwave by Azak's Syndrome. The line, You Must Find Strength, spoken by volume, is used in the beginning of the Crossbreed song, Pure Energy, as well as in the Strapping Young Lad song, Decimator. Yoko Kano also used the sample on the track, Autumn in Ganymede, composed for Cowboy Bebop. The KLF sample the line, Your Feeling of Helplessness is Your Best Friend, Savage, on their album Chill Out. The song. Rule the Universe by Bass Mechanic features the sample multiple times. Dubstep producer Datsik in his song, Light the Fuse, and Sig Band in their track, Dear Hatred, have also used the first part of this sample. After I'm gone, your Earth will be free to live out its miserable span of existence. The sample of Gore's introduction has also been featured in various songs, including Made San Para Para by Pilko Manami and in LED's remix of the Anubis final battle theme for the album Zone of the Enders Remix Edition. In 2002 for their song Perfecta Droge from their album Hertzwerk 2 the German band Megahertz, used Gore's laugh and a sample of I have powers that equal and surpass the powers of gore. Dialogue samples taken from Brain from Planet Arrows are available in Sony's royalty free sample library pack, Methods of Mayhem, Industrial Toolkit. The film was the inspiration for the Zonta episode of Second City Television. Source SCTV Remember Part 2, DVD. Topic. See also Donovan's Brain, an earlier film dealing with brain possession.